Well, if your love language is food, and I don't know whose it isn't for, then we've got you covered this Valentine's Day. Joining us now with an easy way to impress your partner this year, Trevor and Kate Smith from Thistle and Leak. Welcome back, guys. Thanks Thank for coming you. in. Thank you for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. Always what have you got here today? What are we doing for Valentine's Day? Uh, we've got a raviolo, just kind of one big fat ravioli. Uh, we've The filling is braised short rib. Everybody loves short rib. Everyone loves pasta. We feel like this is a slam dunk for Valentine's Day. We braised short rib on the bone, picked it down, uh, added some ricotta cheese, some uh, Parmesan cheese, some herbs. Um, we see Kate here. She's putting together some raviolis through the magic of television. Obviously, we have some ready to go. <laughs> um, so we're just going to drop some of these ravioli, raviolo into the boiling water, and then we'll start on making our sauce. So you had kicked, uh, cooked the short rib separately, and then did you put it through like a blender? We just chopped it up by hand, actually, with a knife. Chopped it up and then yeah. mixed it in with ricotta? Is that what you yeah, said? Yeah, ricotta and a little Parmesan cheese. So this is some of the braising liquid from the short rib that I'm just kind of starting to warm up here, and this is going to be the sauce for glazing. The ravioli. And so Kate's over there just sort of making exactly how you would think the ravioli, just pinching around with the... Exactly. I put some egg down in between. I'm, I'm sealing it to make sure it's nice and, nice and secure. And I'm going to take this mold and cut it out. So if, you know, you're a husband looking to do something extra for the wife or whatever, and <laughs> she walks in, you're doing this, I feel, feel like... Pretty I mean, good. Yeah, husband of the year. You're golden now. Yes. And then That's if you empty the dishwasher, forget it. You're set for oh, yeah. two years. Yeah, fold some laundry too. There yeah. you go. Oh, so, uh, so this so is part great. of your Valentine's Day menu. What else do folks have to look forward to? We go ahead. Uh, we've got what else have we got? We've got swordfish coming off the grill uh, with a fennel oh. and citrus salad. We've got uh, beautiful chocolate cheesecake. Um, we've got passion fruit ice cream. We've got just a handful of there's I think there's some cocktail specials out in our way for Valentine's Day Just trying to create that magic So what do, what do you like about Valentine's Day? Obviously, it's a day that people go out and they eat But what is it that you think is so important for I don't know any kind of couple to come out in at a restaurant? Well, we always I, Spending time together I think is is at the end of the day the most important part we being in restaurants tend to always work Valentine's Day yeah. now that we have our own we get to cook together so yeah. We might be working, but we're still cooking together. <laughs> oh, that's so romantic. That's is that how you celebrate? Is by Ab just cooking together at this little night? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> nice, busy night at the restaurant. <laughs> so what are, where are we with this? So you're waiting for this? Yeah, to... that's going to just come up to a boil here mm -hmm. and start to, we'll put the raviolo in there in, in just a second. Fact, so we'll simple and yet so fancy. Well, well, we try. That's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> when Valentine's Day falls in the middle of the week like this, do you notice as many people coming out, or would you prefer it be on like a Friday or a Saturday? Oh, absolutely. I think people are going to celebrate regardless of the day. So it's 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 really fun to have a nice, busy restaurant in the middle of the week. And it's it, it's good to have an excuse as parents too. It's like, <laughs> all right, get the babysitter on a Wednesday. Absolutely. Go out and hit thistle and leave. This is a good comfort food too, as we're get, dealing with snow tomorrow and a big storm. I like that this you know feels like winter. Not too heavy, but it also sort of warms you up. If someone's hoping to recreate this at home, how did you cook the short rib? You said you braised it. So is that just getting onto the pan? And, and, and how, do you, how do you do that? How do you do that part? Yeah, you take the meat. You get, I like bone in. Roast it in the oven and then add some vegetables, carrot, celery, onion. Maybe throw some herbs, a wow. little bit of wine, and then cover it with liquid, either chicken stock or water. And then put it in the oven and forget about it for a few hours. Looks so good. Once well, it's Trevor and Holy Kate from cow. Thistle and Leak, thank you so much for being here. Of Happy course. Valentine's Day to you guys. And this is a perfect Valentine's Day dish for someone you love. So Liam, get cracking, start cooking this for <laughs> <laughs> right now, or not, or just make reservations. How about frozen pizza? Is yeah. frozen pizza good? Oh, right? we're try, so beautiful. We're gonna try this when we get back. We'll be right back. <laughs> if someone wants to come to Thistle and Leak on Valentine's Day, suggestions. Yeah, if we're out of reservations, try to grab a seat at the bar. It's always a good time there. Yeah. This one leak, it's, it's tough to get in, but yeah. if you do, this is what's there. Yeah.